Hi everyone, okay so today I thought it would be a good idea if I did an updated makeup routine as I haven't done this for a while now, I think I did one last year but it's all changed and I have a new routine I guess. But today we're going to do a bit of a chatty video because I thought it would be nice to catch up with you guys. But the first thing I usually do is obviously prime my face. So usually I'd go and use the baby skin and you guys have seen this a lot before because I do use this a lot in my videos. This is almost finished as well which is quite sad because I have to go buy another one. I hate buying new makeup. I don't know if I already said this but I hate buying makeup when I already have bought it once. I don't know why but I just hate doing it. Oh I love that I can flip out screen now. I can, do, I can see exactly what I'm doing. I don't even need to use a mirror. <laughs> this is great. Um, sorry I don't want to come too close because that's kind of scary. Um, my makeup doesn't last like terribly long I think because my skin's quite oily so I always need something to put on underneath just to make sure that it lasts even like a couple of hours it's quite bad actually and I just hate reapplying makeup especially when I have to go to work I just I hate taking bathroom breaks and usually next if it is sunny or if it's a warm day I'll go and put sunscreen on I don't know if I should have done this before the primer or after but anyway this is the sunscreen I've been using I've already told you guys how important it is to use sunscreen even now here in the UK it's coming into autumn and the sun's not shining at all anymore it's really cold right now um which is really sad because I don't know, who does who likes winter I mean I hate winter I've been here but um, sunscreen is good, so usually I'll just put a bit of that on my face. I just broke the lid. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing really well and you've had a good week. Um, oh, let's do some updates while we're here. So, a bit of updates for my life, what's going on right now with me. I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I've managed to um, put videos up weekly because I've been so tired after coming back from work late every night. Um, I don't come back that late but by the time I get home it's been a long day. But yeah I work in London now if I haven't said that already and it's just a bit of a commute. I get up at 5.30 every day and I need to get to London by 9 o'clock so I get on the train, I get on the bus first and I get on the train and then I get so I get a train to London and then I get another like train, the tube system, to my workplace. And sometimes it's just such a bother to do that and I just, oh, it's just annoying. Um, but yeah, so I've been working there from about the end of July, so it's about just over eight weeks. Um, so yeah, it's kind of what I was doing before. I actually do, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I do online content. Usually I will do my brows or my powder first, but I think I'm going to do my brows first. The brow pencil that I've been using recently, this is the, whatever that says, <laughs> it's in French. <laughs> I can't read French. But yeah, I really, really love, oh, there we are, it's focus. I have a really, I really, really love this pencil. Um, this is a little bit more different from what I usually use. It's actually a, a nice powder. So it, as you can see, it goes on really, really well. Um, I'm going to put this on now and talk at the same time. Um, obviously, I can't do two things at once. But as I was saying, yeah, I'm at this new job now. And it's been, what did I say? Eight weeks. Do I like this job? Hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to say I've had a really tough time over the last um week or so with this job um i can't even put my finger on it i can't say that it's the job as such i tell people that the job's a little boring because it is to be honest if we're going to be honest um it's not like what i expected it to be which is sad also i realized that i'm not that great in work situations so like i'm if you didn't know I'm quite a shy person so I find it quite hard to like get involved in conversations and stuff at work um, it's office based so that means that um, a lot of time I'll be sitting with the same people every day um, I'm not saying that the people there are mean because they're not they're really nice and welcoming but I think they're just just the way they are everyone else is a little bit more like confident and more like the same they're into the same kinds of things and I'm not so I find it quite hard to get involved in conversations and to laugh about the things that they laugh about because some of the things I just find, I don't find funny or some things I don't really find interesting and I'm not trying to be like a, a total like B-I-T-C-H I'm not it's just that I just don't want to get involved and I think I come across as this really stubborn like quiet quietly judgmental person and I don't think well I, I'm not I'm really not judgmental at all um, so 
feel like I've been struggling, man. It's a struggle that I've been telling my friends and like my pastor and my like study group about it and they're just like you need to like keep praying about it and you need to just like be yourself remember not to like give up for anybody else and I was like that's so true so I've just been trying to like I've been trying my hardest to get involved and not compromise like who I am and the things that I like doing um so that's kind of the way I've had to deal with it uh, yesterday was actually the best day I've ever had at work um and I think just because I pushed myself a little bit just to get more involved so I feel like that helped a lot but anyway that's my brows done no <laughs> Remember guys, they're not twins, they're sisters or cousins or distant relatives as I like to say because half the time my brows don't really look even and today we might be in luck because they look kind of neat today. Hooray! I'll put the info in the down bar so you can read about it because I really don't know how to pronounce this but basically it's a powder eyebrow pencil and it's really good at just holding its shape and keeping um, the colour as well for the rest of the day so I don't have to worry about this smudging on me or anything. I don't wear foundation because I generally just don't like foundation. If I have to I will but usually I'm a powder person as I said before so we're going to go back to my good and old, old faithful friend which is the Hello Flawless Powder. You guys have seen this so many times. But to be honest this is more like my summer colour and I haven't really got to update it yet so it. I don't know if you'll be able to, whoa that looks red. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it comes out a little bit too warm on me at the moment. I think I'm transitioning into my winter skin, so it's a little bit too, like, warm. I don't know, like, it's coming out okay on the camera, but honestly, in real life, it's actually a little bit too much. But I haven't got round to replacing it yet. Oh, if you have any suggestions for where I could go and get a new foundation or powder, then leave um, a comment in the down bar and tell me what ones you're loving. Oh my gosh, I forgot a step. Snap, damn it. <laughs> um, I forgot. Basically, <laughs> I was meant to conceal first. Um, I'm using the Pro Conceal, the LA Girl Pro Concealer that everybody uses. So I am in the shade Almond. This is not gonna work now. Oh Lord, no, that's not fair. Um, so usually I'll just put it like, okay. Usually I'll just put it around my mouth area so you can see it comes out really light. Oh, my, my powder's covered it quite up. Well. Usually there's like one in the center there. And I'll just like use my finger usually. Scared the life. That was my phone. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that I've covered all like the bled. I don't know. This looks really red. I don't know why. It's a really red spot on my face today. That came out of nowhere because I didn't have that last night. Another update is I've been eating so much greasy food. At work they do a really good selection of like cake. They do a really good cheesecake. Oh, so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's, I actually love that concealer. It's so good. Oh yeah, I always forget my eyes. It's because I can't see a thing. Sorry if I'm going to look really angry or cross-eyed with you in a minute. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I do have contacts, but I'm really lazy. I know they're down there, but I can't bother to go put them in and do a makeup routine because I've only got three contacts left and I want to save them for like a special occasion. And since Christmas is coming up, I bet there's going to be like, loads of parties and gatherings and stuff that I want to go to. So yeah, hopefully you can see a bit better. Again, sorry if I'm looking cross-eyed at the camera because I'm just my eyes are completely messed up. A couple of days a week, like I'll just sit there and do like a eye strengthening exercise so you know that thing where you put like your thumb in front of your face like <laughs> i'm probably looking really cross-eyed now but you know when you like bring your thumb in front of your face stare at your thumb for a few seconds till you focus and then pull it out again and that's supposed to help strengthen your eyes and i'm actually seeing a major difference even at work i'm trying really hard to like look at di far distances and stuff so that my eyes are like used to looking away whoa The next step is the most important step for me, um, and that is to set the makeup. So I just use this, and again, this is one of those things I've had the longest time. So this is the collection Sheer Loose Powder in Translucent or Barely There. They've changed the name recently, so I'll just use a bit of that. Um, I kind of know just by eyeballing how much, whoa, gosh, how much I need, and that's kind of how much I want. Try 
time my hardest not to ruin my eyebrows and get powder and I always get powder in my eyebrows oh gosh I just get rid of that shininess next if I want to do something a little bit extra why do I look so pasty anyway to warm my face a little bit I'm just gonna use a little blush so I'm using this blush from Rimmel London and it's kind of called winter glow so it's a three in one powder blush and it has all these pretty shades here yeah. Oh, my blog, I've changed my blog, so I've changed the layout and the style of the blog because I get really bored easily, I get bored really easily of like design and that kind of thing. I had the other blog layout for about, I'd say like two months and then I was like, this isn't doing it for me anymore. I'm talking about my lifestyle blog, so the kindlekind.blogspot.co.uk, whatever it's called, not the dessert one. Um, oh, the dessert blog is still going, although I have a feeling I'm going to just quit that soon because it's just becoming a little bit like hard work to do. Like I really like the idea of having a dessert blog, but it's really hard and I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up with it, so I might have to knock it on the head. Um, I'm going to really put a lot of effort into my main blog instead. Oh yeah, I'm going to do the final set. So what I use for the final set is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I bought this for my sister like last year Christmas or something because I saw it and thought it would be a nice present. I bought her the small one and then I asked her if it was good and she said she liked it so I picked it up for myself because as I've said a hundred times in this video I have really oily skin and I just think any more protection and whatever that I need I'll just use it anyway. And I'm really like squeamish so everything that's touching me in the face just kind of makes me feel a bit like Ooh. I hate getting my makeup done. Like if anyone else does my makeup, I hate it. I just I'm always that person that's like, ooh. Um, oh, the reason I've been busy is my friend got married um, at the beginning of the month, so that's why. I was doing all kinds of stuff for her. It was such a beautiful wedding. Um, but I'm so happy that she's married now and she has a new life and everything. So that was so fun and yeah, just being a bridesmaid and stuff, it, it was so good. There's so many people getting married. Um, and we're all at that age group now and it's like, oh, like being in your 20s, that's one of those things that everyone starts to do. Obviously, I don't feel pressurised to suddenly like say, oh, where's my, where's my man? I need to go get one. But it's nice because I think everyone's growing up and to see people mature as well is just, it's great. You know, I'm, I really feel happy for her. Okay, last step quickly, I'll just add some mascara for the sake of it. We've got three minutes. I'm using the Rocket Waterproof version because that is my favourite. There we are, so it's the Raspberry Lemonade Blast. It just smells really good. It's day. So that's kind of my face, I would say. My makeup is complete. And usually I'm gonna do hair. Oh yeah, I have some new hair. This was for the wedding, this weave. So <laughs> that's why I have it. It does need washing, so excuse if it looks disgusting, if it looks dirty, then that's why. It's really nice. Um, so I'll usually just put my hair to the side like this and comb it out and usually that's it just pin it back and that's like my work face complete the makeup done and i hope you guys enjoyed watching that little makeup chatty session i can't remember what i actually said but i hope it was enjoyable thanks a lot for watching and i will see you again soon bye